Hey guys, my name is Shai and this is Evermind Tarot Scopes, but I'm not actually doing any tarot scopes in this video. I want to talk about the lunar nodes and this is kind of an introduction video for a series of 13 videos I'm going to be making. Well, this is number one and then there's going to be 12 more. I'm going to be talking about each of the 12 north nodes and of course their corresponding south node because they are a package deal. And I'm really excited to be doing this because I actually spend a rather inordinate amount of time thinking about north nodes and the north node journey. It's always rolling around in the back of my head. So I'm really excited to kind of just get this all out, share my perspective because I feel like there are so many different perspectives out there. Like if you're just looking up on the internet, like what is the North Node? What are the Lunar Nodes? What is your North Node journey? There's so many different perspectives, so many different ways of looking at, at the nodes and the journey itself that I have been through many different permutations going, okay, that is the right interpretation of the North Node. That is the right interpretation. Uh, and now I just kind of see it as this spiral path, this kind of spiral situation and that there is every single one of those various different views on what the North and South nodes are and how they play out, every single one of those views has value and adds something to the conversation. So I think this is going to be me kind of distilling it all up and giving a kind of unified view of how we can work with the North nodes, specifically our own personal North node, the one in our birth charts and get a little bit of insight on how we can use that to understand our lives, use that to understand our journeys, right? So I guess let me just start from the beginning in case anyone's watching this who doesn't know anything about the North Node, if this is your first um, kind of purview into this. So the Lunar Nodes are divided up into the North Node and the South Node. These are always perfectly opposite. They are perfectly opposite points that rotate through, you know, around the Zodiac Wheel. And they aren't like an actual physical point there. It's like a weird mathematical calculations that astrologers do <laughs> um, based on the orbit of the moon. I'm not particularly interested in that. I, I basically leave that stuff to the professional traditional astrologers. Uh, I am interested in the North Node because I see that this calculation that it has meaning. I see that applies to my life. I see that it applies to other people's lives. So I'm not too interested in the specifics of how they calculate it. I just know that, yeah, it works, right? This applies, this is resonant, this is relevant for me. So the North Node and the South Node, there's a lot of talk about the North Node because this is basically where you're going. It is your journey in life. It's to explore the North Node. It is to flow in that direction. It is to find out what is over there in that area. And this is often really challenging because we usually don't want to go in this direction. We don't want to expand out of our comfort zones because the North Node in your birth chart really represents an area of your life that is outside of your comfort zone, outside of your comfort zone, something that is the opposite of what you feel like you want, right? And sometimes your North Node journeys, you can get dragged on this journey kicking and screaming, okay? Especially if you have like a, if you have one of the outer planets transit your North Node, that is like a date with destiny. Seriously weird stuff can happen that completely reroutes your life. Um, for example, for me, um, I'm a North Node in Pisces and when Neptune, ruler of Pisces, hit my North Node, I got married. <laughs> and I got married uh, to the person who's, like when you compare our charts, my North, my North Node is in his seventh house. So it was literally like, <laughs> destiny to marry my husband and it wasn't just getting married right it was I moved to a new country I completely left my entire old life behind and I began my north node journey it like completely changed my entire life it's like my my life before my north node journey and my life after my north node journey completely different and and it's literally timed in my transit chart by Neptune transiting and activating my north node it's one of the reasons why I'm so interested in it because like it it happens and, it, and it's it's so it's so real it's so it's so applicable right so with the north node you want to check your sign right um like what sign is your north node in and the sign of your north node is something that you share with a whole group of people this the north node stays in one sign for 18 months at a time so basically the people you grew up with right the people who were in your grade at school or just the grade before or after, right? Depending on how your birthday falls, right? Um, but you share that sign with them and you share this kind of life journey with them. You share this big theme of what you're gonna go off and to explore with them. Um, but then 
equally as important, I feel, as the sign is the house. Right? When you're looking at your at your birth chart, what house does the north node fall in? That that is so 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 important. Um, adds so much context to how your north node journey is playing out, like what life area it is playing out in. Uh, to use myself as an example again, is my north node is in the fourth house. So Pisces in the fourth house, that's a ton of water energy. That is me like bringing my intuition online, exploring my emotions, and since it's in the fourth house, it is a huge emphasis on like family, right? On family and the home. And since I have been on my north node journey, I have actually hardly left the house and my life has been really revolving around the home and the family, like massively for the last nine years, right? <laughs> so you definitely want to pay attention to the house because that gives, that tells you like where that's happening. And that's actually what differentiates you from all of the people in your, in your, who share the same North node as you, right? Because I know other people with the North Node in Pisces. I know lots of them actually, because I grew up with them, right? We were all went to school together, the whole North Node in Pisces cohort. And ev of course, everyone's North Node in Pisces journey is playing out in different ways because everyone has their North Node in Pisces in different houses, right? In different houses. If you were to have your North Node in Pisces in the 10th house, for example, that would be like journeying out into your career and really dissolving into your career, which would be very different from my experience of exploring my emotions in the home and kind of dissolving into my family and having this experience that I'm having. So when you're watching, or, you know, if you do go ahead and watch the Zodiac sign videos, like every single North Node, right? You'll probably get the most out of it if you watch the sign and the corresponding house, right? The sign in the house, because every every house in the zodiac wheel is course like is ruled by a sign, right? So if you're North Node in Taurus, in the fifth house, you definitely want to watch North Node in Taurus, fifth house. You probably also want to watch North Node in Leo, and I'll write on there like you know which which one that applies to because if your North Node is in Taurus in the fifth house, that is a combination of Taurus energy and and Leo energy, right? The fifth house is ruled by Leo. That's that's Leo. So you kind of work that together and you can kind of filter it together and see how both of those energies are playing out because it's a dual thing here, right? So there's a really like a ton, a ton, a ton to, a ton to digest with this. And I've actually been thinking about my North Node journey for, for years I've been stewing on this. So this is something you slowly unfold and slowly understand over time. Um, and so the South Node, right? What is the South Node? That is the opposite the opposite and it's exactly opposite of your north node and that is your comfort zone that is where you have been right that is where you have been it's your comfort zone and it's really interesting with the south node because it typically plays out in two ways right one is past lives so the south node typically <laughs> represents what kind of things have you been doing in your past lives especially in past lives that are recent if if you do kind of look at your past lives in a kind of linear fashion which i don't always but there is something very interesting about like past lives that if you know about your past life that happened you know a couple of decades before you were born in this life right that one tends to sync up pretty well with your south node right with your south node so it's like what did you do in your past life what did what did you focus on in your past life what was a really big deal for your past life and typically also what did you overdo what did you overdo in your past life and that typically plays out in this life in maybe your childhood your adolescence your 20s your 30s whatever is the earlier part of your life you're typically in your south node zone it's your comfort zone it comes naturally to you it comes easy to you it feels good it feels right the problem with the south node and so, so some of the different, um, some of the ways of looking at the lunar nodes, some of these schools of thought take a very severe, <laughs> really negative look at the south node. So, some of these systems basically say that the south node is where all of your bad karma is and that you need to like correct that in this life. Yeah, it can kind of play out that way. It can kind of play out that way, but that's not... I don't think that's really the best thing to be focusing on, right? The best thing to be focusing on. So again, another example here to kind of show you what I mean. Um, my south node in Virgo in the 10th house. So that is a massive amount of focusing on details and focusing on career, okay? Be having a very detail-oriented career and focusing on perfectionism in my career and devoting myself to my career. 
That is something I did in my early 20s before I got married and went on my North Node journey. But to more to the point, that is my past life, my most recent past life. <laughs> it's actually, it's really, really funny. Virgo, South Node in the 10th house, that applies to my past, my past life where I was a surgeon and I essentially was married to my career. That was my entire life and I sacrificed my family. I completely like neglected my family. All I did was work. My, my career was everything. My career as a surgeon, right? And of course, having a career as a surgeon, it was like, I, if I wasn't perfect, people literally died, right? So I, like, so it's like, so, so based in the mind, Virgo, right? So fixated on my career, 10th house. And that really actually was a ton of karmic baggage for me to release because in this life I've really had to work on relaxing the mind, right? Flowing into Pisces, which is like flowing into the fog, into the in, into the intuition, into the emotions, into the water, right? Releasing the Virgo mind, releasing the Virgo fixation on detail and perfectionism and also even releasing um, career, right? Because when Neptune hit my north node down there in the fourth house, uh, I abandoned my career and all of my my career dreams i was off to be a career person right and instead fourth house was activated and i became a home a, like a homemaker right? <laughs> like a home person but this is the cool part right this is the cool part so that that was a kind of a north node lesson that i learned kicking and screaming right where i had to abandon my south node and focus on developing my north node flowing into pisces and the fourth house stuff um and I kind of learned that kicking and screaming with the help with the help of Neptune when she activated my North Node. But <sighs> the cool thing is, is that as you explore your North Node, as you explore it, as you allow yourself to flow into that area, it's very uncomfortable at first. It can feel terrifying. And if you're really closed off to it, you can actually get like the universe can really kind of just beat it into you, right? Going, you have to go in this direction. You have to go in this direction because... If you're fixating too much on your south node, that's where you've been. That's what you're. That's what you're best at. You'll start finding that it just stops working, right? Exploring your south node. If you if you if you stay closed closed up in fear, if you stay fixated in your south node energy, if you stay in that, it's gonna get harder and harder to keep doing that because the universe is trying to push you into your north node because you need to become more balanced, right? You need to become more balanced. And that's what this is actually about. So some of these systems talking about the lunar nodes, they, they talk about how you need to completely like correct your south node or abandon your south node, right? Become the opposite of what you were. And that is true, but only to a certain extent because this interesting thing happens is as you explore the North Node, as you commit to your North Node journey, as you grow, as you leave your comfort zone, as you become more of who you are meant to be, more of who you really are, there's what I call the, the, the kickback effect. There's this kickback effect. After you've spent some time developing your North Node, you're actually becoming more balanced, right? Because now you're, you're not just fixated and closed off and you're not just stuck in the way you were, right? You've explored and you've become so much more. And as you do that, so cool. You actually start getting things like popping out in your, in your south node, right? It's this weird feedback thing. Because of course, you, you always kind of want your south node, right? So for me, south Virgo and south node in the 10th house, I want to have a career, right? I want to have a successful career that, that, that is something I do desire in life, right? Um, but it's interesting, by exploring my North Node, by exploring home and family and emotions, that is kicking back and creating career for me. So when you explore your North Node, you actually end up getting what you want from the South Node. It's like in order to actually satisfy your South Node, you need to explore your South Node. Your South Node is like kind of what you want, where you want to be. The North Node is what you are afraid of what you need to become in this life, what you need to explore. But as you leave your comfort zone, explore the North Node, go in this direction, become more, there's this feedback effect, this kickback effect, where in a weird way, in really weird, unexpected ways, you end up getting what you actually wanted, right? You end up getting what you actually wanted in a way that is so much better and so much more fulfilling. And I'm just gonna keep using myself as, as an example here. <laughs> Basically, since I have been sitting at home, exploring my intuition, you know, going on this whole Pisces in the fourth house, n North Node journey, I started doing 
YouTube channel, right? And my Etsy shop and doing tarot readings and stuff like that. And that is just, just beginning to become like an entire career trajectory for me that's gonna be going for the rest of my life. It's really cool, really exciting. And you know what? It is so much more satisfying than anything my Virgo South Node could have come up with. Because Virgo South Node would have had me being an English teacher, being a music teacher, or going into medicine, right? Again, which would, which would have been repeating the past life, which is something I shouldn't do, right? I want, because I, I already did that. It's time to do something different in this life. So by, by spending a few years being really just kind of lost in my own North Node journey, I end up satisfying myself, my South Node, getting what I want in a way that is so much more awesome, satisfying and fantastic and something I never could have imagined, something I never, thought even possible. So explore yourself, explore your North node, right? Explore your North node. It will balance you out because then you end up with the best of both worlds and you end up releasing all of the South node stuff, releasing the, the low frequencies of your South node. That's what I mean. Not all of the South node, you release the low frequencies of your South node, right? For me, Virgo South node, I'm always releasing perfectionism in my mind and all of that release, release, release explore the North node and then voila, I'm more balanced. And now everything starts working out for me in a whole new way. And so it doesn't matter what sign you have or what house your North node is in. You want to, to go on this journey to become more balanced, start to understand, first of all, understand the sign and the house of your South node and understand that, okay, that's what you want to focus less on. You want to kind of release that. And especially you want to release the things that are low frequency, low vibe. And I'm going to be talking about that in each one of these videos as I go through all of the signs. What is low frequency and low vibe? And you drop out of that stuff, right? You let that shit go. And then you want to know, where are you going? Where are you going with your North Node, right? With your North Node. Where are you going? What should you explore? What should you focus on? What should you cultivate, right? What should you cultivate? Cultivate, cultivate, cultivate. How should you walk into the unknown, how should you meet your destiny, right? This is like the, the, the yellow brick road, the path to your destiny. And then you find you're so much more balanced and you've become whole once more. And so one of, in Vedic astrology, right, they, the North Node and South Node story is actually about a dragon getting cut in half and the North Node is the head of the dragon and the South Node is the tail of the dragon. And I kind of feel like, you know, when you explore your North node and when you kind of transmute and transform your South node, now the dragon is put back together and you become whole. So the North node journey at the end of the day is the journey to wholeness, the journey to wholeness and the journey that levels you up, right? It, it like restores you to who you truly were before you fragmented into all of these weird little pieces. So <laughs> I hope that gives you some idea of what the lunar nodes are, are all about and especially how it really truly applies to your life. Like watch for transits to your North node, especially the outer planets, right? The slow moving planets, because you know, I'm talking about how I had Neptune transit my North node. Neptune is so slow that not everybody has Neptune transiting anything in their lifetime, right? It's so long, but if you have anything transiting over top of your North node, that's a date with destiny guys. Watch out for those because your life can massively shift. And if you do have an outer planet really lighting up your North node like that. Just, just know that <laughs> this is when you catapult yourself into the unknown because you cannot possibly imagine where this journey will take you. So I'm going to be getting into the videos for every single sign, all 12 of the nodes. So check out your sign of your North node and also the equivalent house for your personal placement. And I will have it all in the titles and there should be a, what's the word? Like a playlist of them all once I get them all recorded. So <sighs> what else? Oh, so if you're finding, if you're finding me here, if you're watching this for the first time, you might want to check out my other YouTube channel, which I post more like esoteric spiritual content. I do Tarot, tarot readings. I do, sometimes I do channeling. Um, I talk about weird stuff. I do a lot of stuff that might resonate with you. If you identify as a star seed or a light worker, you can also check out my Etsy shop. If you want to actually have me take a look at your North node, actually to look at your North node 
Um, I do tarot readings in my Etsy shop and I do astrological readings in a combination with tarot and it kind of changes all the time. So you'd have to check out whenever you see this, check out what I'm offering in my Etsy shop at the time. So I hope to connect with you more deeply and I hope you enjoy your North Node journey. Talk to you guys later. Bye.